Hey Calvary, I am Pastor Sean and I have the honor of bringing you the word for the day. Today's passage is in Galatians 6 verses 1 through 3. Dear brothers and sisters, if another believer is overcome by some sin, you who are godly should gently and humbly help that person back into the right path. And be careful not to fall into the same temptation yourself. Share each other's burdens and in this way, obey the law of Christ. Gently and humbly help a person back onto the right path. I wish I would have read this or at least understood this when I was younger. You see, I've heard a lot of people under the guise of helping them back to the right path, conveniently leaving out the gentleness and humility. Uh, one of these people that I've hurt was actually my younger brother. I remember in high school, we were part of the same youth group and for a season, uh, he was getting into trouble randomly at youth group taking food when he wasn't supposed to, back talking, lying, just little things, stupid things. Um, and I remember on the drive home, because I drove him, um, I laid into him. I let him have it. Uh, I basically told him off in the name of Christ, at least in my mind, expecting him to just snap out of this disobedience and return back to the path. Now, I wasn't gentle with my words by any stretch of the imagination, and I certainly was not humble. Looking back, I actually probably thought I was better than him. Only in hindsight, I now see how selfish I was and how harsh I was. And as you may assume, instead of gloriously coming back to Christ and apologizing for what he did wrong and finding forgiveness all because I told him off, uh, this was probably one of the first real points in his life where he truly backslid from his faith. When his brother harshly and judgmentally put him down for struggling with life, little stupid things. And it's one of my biggest regrets in life. And now I'm not sure where he's at with his faith, but I'm sure he believes in something. But you know what I know for sure is that he has an emotional scar from where his brother tried to save him. And I guess I tell you that story because I want you to be better than me. Don't be a stumbling block for those who are struggling. Instead, listen to Paul's wise words in Galatians 6 and restore them with humility and gentleness as Christ would restore us. Because what's the alternative? As we push people away from Jesus, people we love, people Jesus loves. So today, as you go about your business, I want you to think about the people in your life who are backsliding or struggling with their faith. How can you gently and humbly share the gospel with them? Maybe you share your own struggles of faith with them, or even how Christ has helped you overcome your struggles. And if you feel like you're a person who's backsliding or struggling with your faith, then guess what? Jesus loves you immensely. He is patient and he is kind, he is humble and he's gentle, and he is eagerly waiting for you to approach him with your struggles, your questions, and your doubts. He died for you, and you don't have to question that. But no matter what, no matter what you're questioning or what you're having a hard time with, Jesus is here and he's right next to you and he loves you. So Calvary, think of the people who are in your life who need to hear the gospel. Have a blessed day and may we continuously find our way back to the path through gentleness and humility.